Good afternoon students, parents and teachers. My name is Steve Obeid and I'm a former VCAL student from St Albans Secondary College's class of 2014. Today I'd like to share with you a bit about my pro-school pathway. This includes a medical diagnosis in my early high school years, the challenges I have faced because of this diagnosis and how I overcame them to go on to further studies and live a fulfilling life despite being visually impaired. I was diagnosed with my vision impairment at age 13 in term 3 of year 7. I have a condition called Stigar's disease which affects my central vision and what, what people with relatively good sight can see at 60 meters, I can only see at 6. This has taken away my ability to ever get a driver's license and apply for certain jobs. Being told of the many things I was unable to do broke me and I was unsure what the future was going to hold for me. By chatting to my family and having them ask me what I was going to do about it got me thinking of all the things I still wanted to do. I wanted to make sure that I was continuing to study at school and that I could get in touch with the people who were able to give me the support I needed. As mentioned, I was a VCAL student. This was a decision made as I enjoyed being more practical and it fitted well with what I love, which is sport. Not receiving an ATAR didn't affect me in moving on to my future pathway. I had an idea of what I wanted to study post high school, so I knew by not receiving an ATAR, it wouldn't stop me from getting into the course that I wanted. After finishing, I studied a Diploma of Sport Development before, gain, before gaining entry into my Bachelor's Degree of Physical Education and Sports Science, which I am studying now. Although this meant it took an extra year to achieve my degree, I was better prepared for the subjects moving forward. Whether it takes an extra month, six months or a year, there are many ways to get to where you want. Speaking to the right people and getting good advice helps with achieving this too. It was the school's careers team that helped create this pathway for me, both as a student and after finishing school. The guidance I received helped me in graduating from high school, study at university, play sport nationally and travel around the world. Playing sports is a very big part of my life and I was determined to keep it that way. I contacted sporting organisations who offered modified variants of sports I have played that enabled me to stay physically active and keep in touch with the team environment. Talking to organisations like Vision Australia and Guide Dogs Victoria assisted me in gaining life skills and resources that was going to help me help cater to my vision needs in the future. Some things I've been able to achieve are going to America for NASA space camp and volunteering at the Special Olympics, being a part of the first ever Australian vision impaired futsal team, being a part of the Australian blind cricket team, and recently appearing on Millionaire's Hot Seat. As a 13 year old who dreamt of being an electrician, I never would have thought that these things would happen that the, the diagnosis that brought me so much uncertainty in my life would be the would ultimately enrich it reaching out to these organizations was pivotal having the right support in place is important and can lead to incredible opportunities having a circle of people you can rely on is also important. It is going to make things a whole lot easier. Sharing your thoughts and experiences will be beneficial in, in whatever you decide to do and you are facing in your life. My main takeaways would be that there are opportunities outside of an ATAR pathway to be explored. Regardless of your personal situation, there will be times of struggle, but knowing who to talk to and what supports you have in place can get you through these struggles. We are all capable of overcoming challenges. This period that this period of in time does not define the rest of your lives because there is no limit to what you can do. I've been Steve Obeid and congrats to you, the graduating class of 2021.